Hey again kids, for your project today, we are going to make something called an agamograph. And this was invented by an artist from Israel called Yaakov Agam. To make this, we need two sheets of A4 paper, but we need to cut it to make it slightly less wide. The paper must be 25 centimeters wide and you have to measure it very carefully to make sure that it is exactly 25 centimeters. Join those lines and then cut this part off. So now we have two pieces of paper that are 25 centimeters wide and now we need to divide each sheet into 10 equal columns. How wide must each column be? Many of you can work that out in your head, but of course you all know how to use long division now and you can work it out in that way too. So 10 goes into two, no times. Zero times 10 is zero. Two minus zero equals two, bring down five. Ten goes into twenty-five. Two times. Two times ten equals twenty. Twenty-five minus twenty equals five. Ten goes into five no times, so this is the remainder. Two point five. So now that we have our answer, we need to divide each sheet into 10 columns that are 2.5 centimeters each. You need to do this very carefully because it's important to get these measurements right. So 2.5 and 5, 7.5, 10. 2.5 and there's the last column and then measure again further down the page so that you can then join the lines so now we have two pages divided into 10 columns of 2.5 centimeters one of these pages we can save for later but with this one we need to count one two three four five columns and then we need to draw a line basically down the middle one two three four five on this side five on the other side and then we need to cut the sheet again. So now you have two pieces of paper and I would like you to do a different painting or drawing on each. And these can be anything you want, but you have recently done a bionic project where you have written about two connected ideas. Here my examples are a shark, which I have just started to paint, and a swimmer. And the swimmer is wearing a swimsuit inspired by the shark's skin. In exactly the same way, you can use your own project 
ideas. For example, if you chose a dandelion which has inspired a parachute, you could do drawings of those two objects. By the way, before you start drawing, turn over your paper so that the lines are on the other side. Okay, now I need to finish my paintings. This is never easy with a camera right next to my shoulder, but I will have a go. important thing with watercolour is to leave any white that you want. You can't paint it in afterwards. Okay, so I have now finished my drawings. The lines are on the other side and in fact, I put some here just to show you how it is divided. Um, and what I would like you to do now is to put a letter or a number on each column. We will start with this one and just write one, two, three, four, five. And here we will put a letter, a B, C, D, and E. And now you have to cut your <gasps> paintings into strips, but don't worry, you will see them all as one piece again when we are finished. Again, it's important to try to make the lines as straight as possible. Separate these strips into two different piles and then you need to take your first sheet and you will then need to fold this into a concertina or fan shape. It might be a good idea to use a ruler just to score the lines. And this will help you fold it. Be careful with the scissors, of course. Okay, I'm sure you've all made a paper fan before. So when you have got your concertina form ready, it's time to stick the strips to the columns. But you have to be a little bit careful here with the sticking because they need to be in the right order. And what is the right order? Well, it's a little bit strange. For the numbers, you start here and you move backwards. Start with five, then skip a column, go to four, skip a column, three, two, one. For the letters, we will start here and we will start with A and then go to B, C, D and E. Look at that carefully and make sure you have understood. Why is the order so strange now? Well, if you think about the pictures you have created. This is the front, of course, and then we turned it over. 
to write the numbers or letters. So if I do that with a very thick pen, one, two, three, four, five. If I now turn it over, you can see that five is here on the left, four, three, two, one. The order of the strips changes. And then, of course, you need to take your strips and paste them into the right place on the background. Now you can see the effect of your artwork. You can view it on a shelf, for example, and I'm just going to move around so that you can start to see the, the other image. And there you can see the swimmer. Here are some more examples. I'm interested in your art and in fact you can do anything you want for this project and as you can see there are all sorts of cool things you can do. But it would also be great if you could use your Bionic project to create your own agamograph. And, of course, when you're finished, you can also ask the kids if they know the connection between the two pictures.